Right, it is time to rehouse my Singapore blue slings and ditch the pill jars. So what I've got set up for them is basically these little deli containers. I hot glue a piece of styrofoam in for them to climb. As you can see at the bottom, it's glued. Can't really move it. So for the substrate, we've got some coconut fiber, dried leaves and some sphagnum moss. Many of you would probably know that arboreal slings would spend most of their times below instead of climbing up. But I still didn't put too much substrate for these enclosures. I actually planned on coloring the styrofoam, like paint it with some grey color or brownish color just to mimic a rock or a cork bark, but I couldn't find any form of paint around my house, so I guess it'll just this will just work out. So anyways, let's just start the rehousing. So I'm gonna put this in this little container just in case they start to bolt because these are old world species and yeah, they're pretty quick. And of course, a catch cup. So this is what I have to deal with without a tripod. So I'm gonna put my phone on this chair facing the camera down onto the enclosure for the filming. And yeah, for elevation, <laughs> that's my Suriname cockroach bin and then sphagnum moss and that's the empty container so it's basically just to elevate it to make the video better I guess like who needs a tripod when you have a chair right <laughs> all right let's hope this goes well oh there's a tiny malt Where's the little guy? That's a little wood. Alright, let's get him into his new enclosure. And there we go. First one down. One more to go. Here goes the second one. Sorry, you can't see. There he is. Oops. Okay. Let's get this guy in. Please cooperate. Whoa. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. That's no good. Look at him, it's over there. Alright, we have a bolter. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be fun. Alright, oh boy. Can you please not bolt? I'm trying to film you as well. So, come on. Oh man. Just went under the... No idea what it's doing. Well, this is fun. Let's get this little piece off. Oh boy. Oh man. It's running all over the place. Oop. Dropped on my hand. Okay. What am I going to do now? Alright guys, this is what I mean when I say catch cup always. So, oh man. It almost went under the cupboard and that would not be good. So I'm gonna slide a piece of paper under. Oh 
man. Guys, this is not going well at all. Will you calm down? Oh my days. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use a smaller deli container. So it'll be easier to work with. Come on, go up. Alright, so he has climbed up the catch cup. So what I'm gonna do is, since this catch cup is the same size as this enclosure, I'm just gonna take it and put it on top and maybe knock him down. i just show you guys a little close up on him. See those tiny little fangs? Really cute, but really fast. Alright, so I hope this works out smoothly. Please don't jump. Please don't fall. Okay. There we go. So. There's his new enclosure. Better cover it up before he decides to bolt again. Well, that was fun, at least it went well, and I didn't lose the tea. And that was the rehousing of these two Singapore Blue Slings, the Lampropelma Violet Seal And my carpet in the background, yeah, that's because I had to move it to catch that sling that decided to run. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, always and always have a catch cup. Especially when rehousing old world species. Take care guys.